Hello YouTube. If you are in marketing and sometimes struggle with the media side of things, then worry not, you are in the right place and I'll help you understand it better. Today we will understand the concepts like GRP, TRP, IGRP and ITRP. Let me start with a very simple one line description of what these are and then I will move on to describing them in more detail in this video. There are two kinds of situations or scenarios where these terms are commonly used. First is to find out how worthy a media unit is based on the number of people who are watching it. And the second is to have a measure that describes how much value marketers are getting for the money that they spend. There is definitely a little more to it than this simple explanation. And in today's video, I will explain what exactly these terms are and why they are important. My name is Rahul and I'm the creator of Business of Marketing, which is the online channel for Decode Strategy Labs, which is a marketing consulting and education company. Three quick things before I begin. First, I provide a free course on strategic marketing, which is a must do if you want to level up your marketing game and earn that seat on the marketing decision table. Link is in the description box below. Second, there's a free guide to media fundamentals that I have created. It includes whatever you learn in today's video, as well as a lot more. Again, check out the link in the description box below. And third, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, why would you do that? There is already so much of good content and a lot more lined up. So make sure you subscribe right now. And on that note, let's start with what is GRP. GRP or gross rating point is used to measure the quantum of audience reached times the frequency of ad exposure on a particular media channel. It came into existence because a common standard was required between media channels to prove the worth of their programs and media buyers to understand the value that they are receiving. A simple way to understand GRP is that it is the percentage of total media accessible universe that watches a particular program. So if a particular program has a rating of 10% on TV, it means that 10% of the TV audience in that market or country watch the programs. You would obviously want to know how is it that these ratings are decided. There are companies like Nielsen and industry bodies in every country that create a panel of people which is representative of the entire population. Their media consumption is measured using certain kinds of methods. And at the end of the week or month, this data is published as rating data. While it is not the actual usage of the entire population of the country, these studies are conducted in a scientific way. They are a representative sample of the market and it closely represents what viewing pattern of the entire nation is. All media sellers and buyers along with the industry bodies and media accept these ratings and therefore use them to facilitate the media transactions to happen. Now let's quickly look at how GRP is calculated. There are two ways to calculate GRP. The simple way is reach times frequencies. So if you showed your ad on TV to 30% of the entire TV audience twice, then your GRP for TV would be 30 multiplied by two, which is equal to 60. Since media plans are not always as simple as what I just shared, what actually happens is that an ad spot is shown multiple times across multiple programs, each with a different reach of its own. In such cases, the GRP is the sum of ratings for all spots that are shown as part of the campaign. So if you showed your ad on TV in program A twice and program B once, and the reach of program A is 30% and that of program B is 40%, then the total GRP for your campaign will be 30 multiplied by two, plus 40 multiplied by one, which is equal to 100. As a brand, you might not be interested in television programs which are reaching the entire population of the country or a media channel. You might be interested in programs which reach to a particular audience that is important to you as a brand. And that's where the next term, which is TRP, becomes important. TRP or targeted rating point is used to measure the quantum of your target audience reached times the frequency of ad exposure on a particular media channel. Measurement with TRP might be used if your target audience is not everyone, but a specific demographic out of the entire population. How do you go about calculating TRP? It's exactly the same as GRP. The only difference is that instead of measuring the entire population, you consider the reach 
for your specific target audience only. Therefore, the simple way is to multiply reach by frequency. If you showed your ad on TV to 30% of the entire TV audience twice, then your TRP for TV would be 30 multiplied by 2, which is 60. TRP is also calculated as the sum of ratings for your target audience for all spots that are shown as part of the campaign. So if you showed your ad on TV in program A twice and program B thrice, and the reach of program A is 30% and 50% is that for program B, for your target audience, then the total TRP for your campaign will be 30 into 2 plus 50 into 3, which is 210. GRPs and TRPs have existed for a long time and they are extremely relevant when you're looking at most of the traditional media channels like radio and television. However, when it comes to digital, there are things that need to be taken into consideration when you're trying to understand the implications on GRPs and TRPs. Many brands ask their media providers to share GRP data for their digital investments and this is important because of two reasons, so that they can make an apples to apples comparison between their traditional media and digital media spend and so that they can use GRPs to reach the audience that does not consume TV or radio. To cater to the needs of these marketers as well as others who want a singular perspective across the different media vehicles, there are companies like Nielsen and Comscore who work with digital media channels like Facebook, Snapchat, Hulu, etc. to provide a holistic data to the brand marketers. But calculating reach on digital media for ads comes with its own set of challenges. What are these challenges? Firstly, bots. Digital ads which are not viewed by humans but viewed by bots and crawlers needs to be removed from such calculations. Second, viewability. When ads do not load to the extent that they are understandable by the viewers, they need to be removed from the calculation. Thirdly, off-target. Ads that are shown to the wrong target audience should not be calculated. Even if you do not manage to get a single view of the customer with the help of these data providers, there is a simple way to calculate GRPs and TRPs on digital media. This will account for duplication between the audiences, but that is very hard to get completely rid of, even with the best of data providers. The digital equivalent of GRP is IGRP or Internet Gross Rating Point. It is used to measure the quantum of internet audience reached times the frequency of ad exposure on a particular media channel. So if you showed your ad on Facebook to 30% of the entire Facebook audience twice, then your IGRP would be 60%. Similarly, Internet Targeted Rating Point or ITRP is how you can measure TRP for digital. It is used to measure the quantum of your demographic audience of the total internet audience reached times the frequency of ad exposure on a particular media channel. So if you showed your ad on Facebook to 30% of your target audience out of the entire Facebook audience twice, then your ITRP would be 60. And that brings me to the end of this video. Three important things before you move on to the next video. First, you must check out my course on strategic marketing where I have poured 15 years of experience of working with multiple brands in multiple countries. It is your shortcut to earning that seat on the marketing decision table, so do check it out. There's a link in the description box below. Second, if you liked what I shared, then hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel. And if you have any thoughts or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And third, and very importantly, there's a free guide to media fundamentals that I have very lovingly created for you. It includes whatever you learn in today's video as well as a lot of other things. So do check out the link in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.